Hey, hey, it is your girl. How's everybody doing? Um, uh, just wanted to come on real quick. I haven't done an update in a while, um, health wise, anyway. So, your girl's a little frustrated and a bit annoyed. Um, <laughs> I went in for my maintenance chemo, um, update, uh, my maintenance chemo yesterday and it was a comedy of errors and that's the best way I can put it um I'm working while I'm talking y'all um so yeah it was a comedy of errors um they asked me to come in early to see the doctor and have an exam before I had my treatment okay fine so I go early and there was some kind of meeting going on and they couldn't see me. They said, go um, go and have your treatment and then come back to the, to, the office, to the doctor's office. I said, okay, fine. So I go and I have my treatment. Treatment went fine as usual. I go back to the doctor's office for the exam. And they had me in the exam room for over an hour. Just sitting there with a sheet <laughs> waiting. So, um, it got to the point where I could, I could hear the doctor going into the different exam rooms and I had, there was a knock on my door and I was like, Hey, come on in. So I don't know if she was another PA or what the doctor was standing behind her. She started to come in the room. Oh, sorry. Wrong patient. And went to the next room. So I was pretty much the last person. No, I wasn't. I got up, I put my clothes on, and I rescheduled. <laughs> I was so mad. And it doesn't, it, it's hard to get me angry. You have to do something really stupid to get me angry enough to, to walk out, especially a doctor's office. I usually, I usually never, I usually never walk out of a doctor's office. Um, oh, the system is driving me nuts. Um, I usually never, ever walk out of a doctor's office. Um, I walked out of that doctor's office yesterday. I was very annoyed. Um, so anyhow, um, today, this morning, I get an apology from the doctor's office. They sent an apology and they said, oh, we're so sorry for the confusion and the wait and da, da, da. Um, and I had originally rescheduled for next. Okay. My system's acting up, sorry. So I originally rescheduled for next Wednesday to go back and have the exam. So they said, oh, um, could you come in next week for a CAT scan instead? Um, your CA-125, the, the blood test that, um, the cancer blood test that we're using as a, a marker, um, it's, you know, it went up and da, 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 and, um, it, it, it's, um, I went from a, a 10 to, it was 23, my previous session, not this past, no, 20, it went to 28, my previous session was a 28. So, and that was right after I had had the liver procedure. So my head, I'm thinking, okay, I had the liver procedure. Yeah, you know, my score is going to be wonky. And as of yesterday, it actually started to go back down. So I'm down to like 23, which it doesn't sound like much, but the fact that it's going back down is actually a good sign. Anyway, now they want me to come in for a CAT scan next week instead of the exam and then have the exam the following week. I'm like, ugh, I'm so frustrated right now. <laughs> I am frustrated with the doctors even though I really shouldn't be because they, they're trying their best I am frustrated with my body because obviously something's not settling down um, something's not settling ever since I had the liver ablation my body's been like up and down and all over the place so um so they have to, they're going to do another CAT scan. And then when I looked into it, I actually am due for a CAT scan. 
it was supposed to be when you start the maintenance chemo you're supposed to, they're supposed to check you six and within six months anyway so i'm at the six month mark of the maintenance chemo so it would be right about this time that i would have to have a cat scan to see make sure everything is still clear i had the mri in april and it was everything was clear with the mri they didn't find anything so i'm assuming with the cat scan they're probably not they're gonna not find anything either because i've had absolutely no symptoms no pain no no nothing going on actually unfortunately i, g <laughs> I gained some weight so i have to get back out and start working that yard again and get that weight off um but otherwise there's nothing going on i'm finally at a place where i'm feeling normal and i'm getting out and i'm doing stuff not a ton of stuff but i'm you know i'm feeling i'm actually feeling normal again now they want me to have a cat scan so and then speaking of my port is bothering me so i have to let them know that um it's my shoulder where the port connects into the it's on this side my right side and the port is right there it's like a, it feels like it's a bump and then there's like a not a shunt but like a, a an iv line that connects it's sore this morning so i don't know if that has anything to do with it if maybe the port might be out of whack i don't know but anyway yeah i'm very frustrated today <laughs> and i'm trying to catch up on all the work that i missed yesterday because i was literally out of the house all day i should have been home by like one o'clock i didn't get home till four so i'm not happy <laughs> and um i'm just gonna do my thing and uh <sighs> you know and uh as far as my mom, she is, eh, you know, same. I had to um, bump up the nighttime coverage. I now have someone six six nights a week now. Because um, some nights she's okay, some nights she's not. So, that's another story for another update. I, I, have, to do a, I have to do a caregiving update because a whole lot going on there too. But anyhow, that's what I've been up to. Um, I have some other ideas in store for some other videos. I'm actually working on... Okay, let me put it to you all this way. I'm, I'm working on Tiffany... H I was working on the Tiffany Henyard thing. Um, there's so much going on with this lady. I am actually going to step back from the Tiffany Henyard um, update. It happened one night. I'm going to step back from that because there's so much going on. And, um, they, I'm not sure if she responded to the subpoenas yet. There's a rumor going around that they asked for an extension. Don't know if that's true. Um, there's some other rumors going around. I'm not going to repeat them yet until I see something else confirming it. But, um, yeah, I'm stepping back from that because everybody's doing it right now. There's so many people talking about her. Um, but I will recommend, I've recommended him before, Hannibal is Hungry and Pink Book Lessons. I'm definitely re recommending those two for sure because they seem to be the most accurate of the bunch. Um, but I have, I am working on it. It happened one night. I am working on a different episode. Um, obviously it might take me a little while, but, um. I have something else in store, so, um, and I think it's going to be a good one. And Beat and Chat should be definitely be this weekend. I got some stuff in that uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to work with. So I'll be doing, I'll definitely be doing that this weekend. So stay tuned for that. And I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I'm going to take a break in a little while, uh, get a little shashan to eat, and, um, you know, just try and enjoy the rest of my day. <laughs> but I will catch up with you guys soon. 
and um of course you know sharing is caring likes are free questions and comments are always welcome and subscribers are always appreciated so that being said have a good one i'll catch y'all on the next